here's the little tiny urinary bladder. So there's the bladder with some fat surrounding it. You can see this bladder is roughly, I mean at most, half the size of the bladder we saw on the male mink. Remember we said even in humans, you know, on average, you know, the female bladder is roughly one-third smaller than the male bladder, so you hold, you know, less urine or can store less urine. So that's the bladder, and then we're going to see these structures right here. See this brown thing kind of shaped like a big Y here? That's actually the mink's uterus, everything that I'm kind of stretching out there. What I'm holding here at the very ends are the ovaries, but these long tubes, you might think fallopian tubes, that's incorrect. Those are the horns of the uterus we were talking about earlier. So you have a left horn and a right horn where they come together right here in the middle. That's the body of the uterus. That's the part that resembles what your uterus would look like. Remember we said that animals like minks that have litters of offspring, they have these horns and little minks will develop all on the length of the horns of the uterus. That's how they can have multiple offspring, several at one time. So two horns of the uterus, they unite right there at the body of the uterus. Then right here at the very end, see this little tiny structure? You can kind of see it if I kind of hold it up like this. I'll use the forceps here. But I'm kind of holding the forceps, this little tiny brown thing. That's an ovary right here at the very, very end of one of those horns. The fallopian tubes actually are very short, kind of wiggly tubes you can see right on the ovary. They're so tiny you can't pin them on the practical. That's why I don't have them on your list though. So at the very end here, again, that structure right at the very end of the horn would be an ovary. It's a little, little tiny structure on this very small animal. So that's one ovary. The other side right here, here is the other ovary that I'm kind of holding here. Notice this long red line here, very thin. That's an ovarian artery going all the way over to kind of, um, you know, give the blood supply to the ovary again. Very, very nice. And that's preserved. You see a little tiny ovarian vein coming down here as well. Very, very tiny vessels. So we had two horns to the uterus, one horn here, another horn. They met right here at the body. A little bit further down, kind of tough to see, but there's a little indentation you see right there. That's the end of the uterus. That's kind of right where the cervix would be. From this point downward, that's a view of the outer wall of the mink's vagina. So the body of the uterus ends, again, we could say kind of right here. The cervix is on the bottom. Everything below that little indentation would be vagina, looking at it from an internal aspect. So those are the ovaries we want to identify on the female mink. We said the ovaries here, horns of the uterus, body of the uterus, and way down here, very inferior, we're going to see vagina. So remember, only one female mink in the lab, therefore, if I use it on the practical, this is the one.